So in the last few days we were presented with the very sad news that Gary Speed, the manager of Wales international football team, has passed away. And I think it was a big shock to the footballing community and it seems to have come as a massive shock to, to the people around him, as these things always do. The difficulty is that the rumours are that he committed suicide. Now, this presents a whole other debate and the reason I'm making this video is that I, wa I watched a video on Gary Speed who came across as a really nice guy, very positive um, and seems to have had a real positive, positive effect on the people around him. But there seems to be a lot of people typing and posting comments as happens on the internet you get a plethora of different views and opinions and there seems to be a lot of people who are basically saying that he doesn't deserve our respect that he um, he's harmed his family and those around him by doing this it was incredibly selfish all that sort of stuff and I wanted to give my opinion on this not least because I've been in the situation where um, my like I've been in a situation where someone close to me committed suicide. I've also been in a situation earlier in my life where I wouldn't say I contemplated suicide, but you know I wasn't far from it. So I got a glimpse into that sort of world, and uh, you at least get a slight idea of what goes through someone's head. And if you've got someone that's close to you who has suicidal thoughts then in talking to them you do learn to understand it to a degree. The problem is that most people don't understand it. They, th this argument, first of all you get the argument that the person is being selfish, right? Now selfishness has nothing to do with it, right? Imagine the worst pain you've ever had. Go on, imagine what the worst pain you have ever had is. Now it most probably was something physical, something that was agony, right? And if you've never experienced agony, then, you know, you're very lucky, right? But imagine the worst pain you've ever had. Now take that and imagine that that is constant, it's constantly there and that you feel at that point, whether it's true or not, you absolutely believe that it will never go away. It will never leave you. It will always be there. Now, if you feel that, that is, when you hear people that are suicidal talking about a sense of hopelessness, that is what they're talking about. The feeling that things are never going to get better, never going to get better. And if you can imagine yourself in the most amount of pain that you can be in, if you're in that pain, you know, there, is, there comes a point where you just want it to end, you want the pain to stop. So there's that part of suicide where it's just about making the pain stop. So it's not a rational thought about no longer being alive, it's making the pain stop. And things will never get better, okay? Um, so it's not about selfishness. It's not about hurting anyone. In fact, many people that are suicidal um, actually feel like they're a burden to people around them somehow they're affecting people around them negatively. Now normally it's twisted in their mind because they're suffering from severe emotional trauma or stress but it contorts in their head so that they believe, absolutely believe that they are a burden to the people around them. That they're somehow hurting the people around them and that their lives would be better when they're gone. So again, the whole selfishness idea, the whole selfishness argument, oh it's selfish, it's selfish. It's not selfish. It's a viewpoint it's it's being absolutely engulfed by something which is so powerful that it overrides rational thought for the most part um, so that's that's one comment that people have been making that, that you know Gary Speed and other people like him are, are selfish you've got the other argument which is to do with the sanctity of life now anyone who watches my videos knows that you know I'm against capital punishment um, and I believe that no matter what someone's done, even if they've committed the most grotesque crimes, they should not be subjected to physical pain, they should not be subjected to death either. You know, no one has a right to take away a life unless it's in direct self-defence. Um, however, if you're religious, the tenets of your religion may, you may interpret them to say that suicide is a sin 
and I can understand people that are religious feeling that way then they feel like well it's a crime against God because the soul is part of, of, of God or part of the Holy Spirit or whatever religion you, you believe in and it's been given to you and for you to make the decision to take that away it's a sin I personally again don't think it's a sin I think it's an absolute tragedy when it happens if there is a God or there is a spiritual aspect to life I don't think it I don't think it's uh, really going to change much, you know, like if you die of natural causes or you, you, die, you know, I mean, this is a whole other topic, but if there is a God, I mean, would you want to be, uh, would you want to worship a God that, that says that uh, suicide is, uh, you know, suicide victims should burn in hell, you know, pe people who are, are, are ill, you know, um, I think they should be it's a whole other topic I'm going way way off topic here but what I'm saying is that I don't believe that it's a crime against God I don't believe that it's a crime against life I think it's just an incredibly incredibly sad situation and it's often born out of some form of mental illness and again mental illness is something which people do not understand they don't understand what mental illness is they don't understand um, how mental illness can grab someone, how it can dominate everything, how someone can go out and have the best night of their life with their friends and their family great and then come home and feel suicidal, feel like they want to end it. They don't understand that, but it's something that grabs you and it feels like an outside force. It feels like something that you can't control. Um, what I would say is if anyone's watching this, that is suicidal or goes through those thoughts is that it will pass You will, it will pass it might feel like it will never but it will that's the main thing to get out of this is the fact that you know I mean some people's suicide attempts are foiled you know um, or someone finds them etc and in time and those people are lucky and then they realise later on that they should never have done it because they feel like the pain has alleviated to a degree or it has got better but the whole point is that when you're in that frame of mind nothing else seems to matter it just seems like you're in pain and that's it so what I would say to anyone who's watching this who may be feeling that way it does pass and it will get better and you need to talk about it you need to seek out help don't bottle it up it's the worst thing you can do you know I mean, the best therapy you can have is talking to your loved ones. And if you don't have loved ones, if you are if, if you don't feel that you don't have anyone you can talk to, pick up the phone, phone the Samaritans, or phone uh, another charity which deals with these sorts of things, Breathing Space, etc. These charities that you can phone and just talk. Or go to your GP, go to your doctor, and you will be referred to a psychologist or a psychiatrist or a counsellor. Um, and I can say that it does really help. You know, I, I went through bereavement counselling for a year and um, one of the best things I've ever done in my life. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, really got me through things um, and really helped. And I think if you build it up inside, and I'm the type of person that sometimes does build it up inside, you really need to talk it out. You really do. Um, the, the bigger issue with suicide, I think, is the idea of is it immoral, is it moral? I don't think it's either. I don't think it's an immoral act. I don't think it's a moral act. You know, I think it's something which is really sad. And it's it's just one of these things that's, that's really, really tragic. And that's it, that someone feels that they're in that situation where they have to make that sort of decision. And if they feel they have to make that sort of decision, then that's something that we should empathise with. We should empathise with the family, friends that lose that person. And if that person has not committed suicide yet, then try and help them, you know? Try and help them. Try and be there for them. Try and get them to talk it out. Seek help. Um, and you should empathise with them and not be like, well, I can't believe you, you're, you're, you're even contemplating that. Because unless you have a glimpse into that world... You can't know unless you think of the most amount of pain you've ever been in continuing and feeling like it will never end. And then maybe, maybe you can you can think about it. You can maybe just understand it slightly. 
So I don't think it's an immoral act. I think it's just plain tragic. And it is very difficult for the people that are left behind. Loads of questions. Why, 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 why? The truth of the matter is you'll never know. Even if someone leaves a note, you'll never know exactly what went through someone's head. So really that question why in a lot of ways, it can never be answered. So sometimes it's a question that's best just left. Um, and focus on how that person lived, what you loved about them, you know. Focus on that. That's what's important. Anyway, uh, that's all I really wanted to say about this. I just wanted to say that I thought it was really sad to hear about Gary Speed's death and um, that the the comments, the really negative comments about about him because he committed suicide. You know, it's a tragic thing, and it doesn't make him any less of a wonderful person to the people who loved him. You know, I mean, I didn't personally know him, but the people who knew him obviously loved him a great deal. And this doesn't make him any less. That doesn't take that memory away. Some people feel like it does sometimes. It doesn't. The memory of that person is still there, and it will always be there. And um, that should be cherished. And that's all I really wanted to say. So I'll be back soon with another video. And uh, what do you guys think about it? And let me know. All right. Bye for now.